So this e-girl called Lane, who's seemingly constantly tripping on acid- Wait, hold on. Oh shit, my bad, honest mistake. So this e-girl called I follows a trippy to buy eggs from two scarecrows in order to bring her friend who committed suicide, suicide back to life by breaking the eggs in her dreams and protecting different girls who pop out of them and killing their traumas that have manifested in the form of monsters one of them should do from a while simultaneously slowly facing her own issues and becoming a more confident person. What, did I stutter? She's not the only one with this hobby <laughs> and bumps into three different girls playing with eggs. We've got an eccentric bum ass ex idol with a broken home and self harm issues, a 14 year old mega corporation president and an androgynous girl with an ambiguous sexuality. Literally all my favorite character shows. And they get their own Pokemon! Fuck. The show basically revolves around the developing friendship of these four girls who all have their individual issues and also get into awesome fights with Tigre monsters in their sleep. What's with these hobbies? It's a really emotional, awesome, and wholesome journey for about 10 episodes until it turns into a sci fi clusterfuck. And it was right around here that I got so high I had no business trying to make sense of anything. But so a long time ago, the scarecrows were bored, so they made a girl. Not with each other, but like an AI. And then one of the scarecrows got married, and the AI got jealous, so he killed the wife, and the scarecrows threw the AI away. And it somehow started causing suicides in 14 year old girls. And this makes sense because they established that parallel universes exist, but it's so half assed and vague, it doesn't really explain anything and ultimately it's one of those Lane Evangelion Hamtaro mindfuck endings where you need to really pretend to be smarter than you actually are to claim you understood jack shit and 9 out of 10 absolutely recommend it. Thanks for watching, please go sub to the second channel just in case something happens to this main one. You can also stream my music on Spotify if you'd like to. Big thank you to all my patrons and a special shout out to Crimson Nomad and I think that's it. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.